are officially recording, ladies and gents. Um, this is our fifth, maybe fourth or fifth Zoom. Um, and this is um, a blast from the past, if you will. We have some past campers of the year that are joining us. Um, these guys, for any of you new staff, they don't come to camp anymore as actual campers. They've um, not aged out because we asked them to. They aged themselves out. Um, <laughs> we're just going to get everybody to introduce themselves. Some of you old past staff members, you're going to be pumped to see this one because you've seen all these bits and goodies. Um, so, Becky, if you want to just introduce yourself and tell us where you're from, maybe what years you came to camp, if you can remember first. Hi, uh, my name is Becky Johnson. I'm from Dothan, Alabama, and I've been, I think my last year at camp was probably like 2007 or 2008 when I graduated high school, maybe 09, but I've been going to camp for like a good like eight or nine years. Perfect. Uh, Philip? I'm Philip Crane. Uh, I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama. I went to camp from 2000 two or three to 2010. It was Still early right. 2010, because I graduated awesome. high school. So. Awesome. And Laura Lee? Hey, I'm Laura Lee, and last time I was at camp was 2008, I believe. And I went there for, since 1996, I want to say. Goodness gracious. So Harley was definitely had the most years at camp. I think we can all agree on that. Not me. You still don't beat me, but um, a long time. I can remember, I can remember all three of you when you were babies. You can probably remember me when I was a baby too, to be honest. We were all babies. Um, so yeah, it's so exciting that you guys are on. I just want to just, if we can quickly, kind of what everybody has going on in their life, what you're doing. Um, I think all of you know that I'm still at camp. I'm the program director now, um, which is what back in our day, it's what Dan's job was. Um, my, it's a little bit different what I'm doing now than what Dan was doing just kind of because of some of my strengths my strengths are not what his strengths were um so we kind of adapted camp so where everybody's doing kind of what they're the best at but still here still going strong still keeping it together Matt and I um have been doing it together for a, a good long while now so we're finally sort of getting it figured out Philip you want to tell us what you're up to these days sure sure um, I am currently living in Auburn Alabama um I Finished up school in 2016. Uh, I worked for the university for a little while, for a couple of years. I'm currently in between jobs and kind of looking at going back to school. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but I said, we'll see what happens. My degrees were in history and higher ed. And as Becky well knows, um, those things can be difficult to get into if you're not at the right place. So. So will this be going back to school for your PhD or for another yeah, master's? I'll go back for another master's probably another master's. Um, in another field. And so we'll see what that field is. Cool. Are you still involved in wheelchair basketball down there? I, I'm still involved. That was actually my previous position. Um, I worked for them uh, as an academic advisor. And so that position got cut due to budget cuts. Um, mm -hmm. And so... When that happened, I kind of, I still, I still know those people. And I still talk to them and do stuff if they need me to do stuff, but I'm not as involved as I was. Um, so. But you were it, there from ground up for Auburn's program, right? Yeah, I was there from when it started in 2010. Um, I played through 2017 and worked, worked for them through uh, 2018, 2019. So. That's awesome. Who yeah. would have knew baby little Philip Crane would get Auburn's wheelchair basketball program going? Uh, it wasn't quite me. It was more Jared and Nathan. But, but you were there. You were there. I had, a, I, had a, I had a role in it. <laughs> you were there. All right, Becky, what's going on with you these days? Um, I still work at Troy Dothan. I got all my degrees at Troy Dothan. They were in history and psychology, and my master's was in history. So I'm an academic advisor, and I do disability services for the campus. Nice. And then, um, I also teach. So I teach at night 
uh, U.S. history and then university orientation. So I'm like on campus from like 7.45 to, yeah, 12 hours. Wow. <laughs> for Goodness some of the days, but like Philip said, it's hard getting like full-time teaching um, in higher ed. Higher ed is hard to get jobs wow. and you have to know the right people. So I'm grateful for my job. I'd like to work my way up, but with COVID and all, it's going to be hard to, with colleges and budget cutting and stuff like that. Yeah, there, there's, I think, I think Becky, you're right. I think there's going to be a very interesting transition for colleges um, as far as COVID is concerned. I mean, most of the college jobs can be done virtually. Like all the stuff I do at home these last month and a half, I could easily do that full time, but they're not going to want that. But that's where the world's going is virtual. So, um, but in my downtime, I do board games. You could see board game shelf. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got really big into board games with my boyfriend. I've been with him for seven years. And nice. um, yeah, that's pretty much me. Oh, and I'm getting two kittens tomorrow. So that's going to be exciting. And it's a fun time. I have a Great Pyrenees and a Springer Doodle. Wow, a Great Pyrenees. That is some kind of a dog. Yeah, she's big. She's like a big polar bear. Love it, love it, love it. Laura Lee, what's going on with you? I work at Children's of Alabama, and I live downtown Birmingham with my husband, James, and our dog, Haley Bug. <laughs> what do you do at Children's? I work at the information desk. Oh, cool, cool. That we have a lot of staff, um, like past staff in the past few years that work at Children's now. Um, so there's probably a lot of Camp Aska people around that you two just don't know your Camp Aska people. <laughs> yeah, I um, yeah. might not know, but if they come up and say hi. <laughs> right, I'll tell them all. Listen, there's this little girl named Laura Lee. She's not just a woman, but she's a little piece of a woman. <laughs> Go say hello to her. <laughs> sure. That's awesome. I well, think I got really Haley coming in, maybe. Okay, cool. I'll see her if she rings in. Like I okay. said, everything in here will start making noises. Oh. Um, well, yeah, just from my perspective, it's so cool that you guys are all doing big things. Um, you know, that's what you hope for. Like when you start working here and you meet, you got like y'all, you hope and hope and hope that, you know, you're not going to let your circumstances bring you down or kind of make choices for you. So I'm really proud, just, you know, us talking um, of all of you that you've gone on and done big things. It makes me really happy, you've done bigger things than me. So good on you. <laughs> good job on that. Yep. Um, you're you're Oh, yeah. that's what you were talking What, Larley? Camp Aska and Camp Aska staff are people who encourage me to be as independent as I can be. Awesome. That's so good to hear. I mean, you know, it's funny because it's all fun and games and you think and people who don't know camp, you know, a lot of times they're like, oh, they're just, they go down there and they're just playing all summer. And that is true. That is what we're doing. But I would really like to think and hope, and maybe you guys can speak on it a little bit, that there are bigger things than that going on. Um, it, it doesn't have to be like a formal sit down, like you're in a therapist's office conversation all the time. Um, for there to be sort of bigger, bigger things and bigger ideas that are happening. I think it helped me with my confidence, like socially, because like you guys were there, you guys were older than us, and yeah. like we respected you, but you guys didn't like look down on us or anything. It was like we we're having fun with our peers, and so when I got like I switched schools a lot because we kept moving to different school districts, still in the same town, but felt like a military family. <laughs> so I kept having to make more friends, and I feel like camp gave me that confidence to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so good. Yeah, I, I definitely that. agree with what they've said. Ask it definitely makes a difference in our lives. Um, I was, if you saw the documentary Camp uh, that just came out on Netflix, yeah. I was watching it and I was like, "This, it's not quite Aska," and because it was. 40, year, you know, 40 years ago, 50 years mm -hmm. ago at this point. Um, but it was very similar. I was just like, that's what camp can do for, for kids and teens and adults um, with disabilities. It, it can be that, that social outlet um, that doesn't always exist otherwise. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, from 
from my perspective, that's what I want camp to be. That's sort of what I strive for camp to be is just a social outlet. Like we're just having fun and we're hanging out and everybody's everybody. And it, there doesn't have to be a something behind, you know, Philip's name or Becky's name. It's just Philip and Becky and Laura Lee and Cotney and everybody's just everybody. Um, that makes me really happy that you guys feel that way too. Sometimes, you know, you, it's nice to hear that you're not the only person feeling that way about something that you give so much to. And it's funny because you, think the campers, you know, from our perspective, don't understand always is that, that you guys are given, it feels way more to us than we're giving to you just in perspective. Like there's no dollar amount that you can put on perspective um, and that you kind of have to see it and, and experience it and feel it. And like, I can think specific memories like with Laura Lee and Haley of me being 17 years old in the cabin with them, like helping take care of them and be like, oh, somebody's really letting me do this right now. Like, I'm not really sure I can be trusted, but you learn that you can be and that that gives you something, you know, and we can't do that without you guys. So it's special, really special. And I think it's super special relationship. Like even now, all these years later, like I still feel really close to all of you just because... <laughs> Um, of, you know, just specific things that you can think of and remember. <gasps> Guess what, guys? We have a special guest that's just entered the party. Hi. Hi. Oh, look, they're not as excited as <laughs> Oh, look, it's the old 50-year-old. It's the old 50-year-old. He's an old 50-year-old man. I know. You ain't, ain't so young yourself. <laughs> that was fun. Everybody's a grown adult now. <laughs> oh, here's Haley trying to enter. She got it. She got it. See if it'll pick up. How are y'all? Good. How are you? I'm good. Good. We're so glad you got on. Yeah. It took a while. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matt. Hey, Haley. How are you? I'm good. Did you have a good birthday? I had a fantastic birthday. Good. <laughs> I got a lot of love. Well, awesome. Haley, um, you just wanted, we all introduced ourselves a little bit earlier, but do you just want to tell everybody your name and where you're living these days and kind of what's going on with you? Um, my name is Haley Emmons. I live in Florence and I live in my own house. I have people around the clock to take care of me. I get to go places like to Walmart and the mall, and um, I, I just got back from my parents' house. Nice. We ate, we ate and had a good time, so. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you live in your own house. That's awesome. Yeah. Look at everybody just being grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Becky and Philip have double the amount of grace that you and I have together. <laughs> I know, I know my PhD. It happens. Becky's yeah. <laughs> driving and... <laughs> I, hate, I hate that y'all are not gonna get to have Camp Aska this year. Yeah. yeah. That stinks. <laughs> That's the exact word I would use. Haley, do you remember what year you were camper of the year? Um, I believe it was two thousand eight. No, ninety eight. Was it ninety eight? I think it was ninety eight because Josh Q. Uh, uh, what's his name? I I can see his face. He's a cutie. Uh, oh. <laughs> What's his name? What's his name? Josh Opie? Huh? Josh I, Opie? I don't know who it is. Are you talking I about see his face, though. Hey, Lily. Hey, Haley. How are you? I'm good. good. How are you? I'm good. Well, 
I'm going to let y'all get off here, but I just have one parting question that I want to ask you. I feel like we've had some really good talks. If you guys could go back and talk to yourselves the very first year you came here as a camper, that very first time your parents dropped off, what would you tell yourself about camp? Um, it's an amazing place, and I wanted to live there. <laughs> but, but, uh, my granny and um, my granny and Mama Ruth cried because I had never, I had never spent the night away from home, and they cried because they were afraid something would happen to me at camp. Yeah, we get a lot of that still from parents that are just nervous, which they should be. Why wouldn't they be nervous? <laughs> I remember the first time I went um, skiing, and that was awesome. When, yeah. When y'all put me in that chair, yeah. I thought I was going to tip over, but I didn't. <laughs> we got you, girl. We got you. What about you, Becky? You're on my screen right now. What would you tell yourself? Um... Don't be so nervous and that everyone there is really cool and just enjoy yourself because the week's going to fly by before you know it. Well, I yeah. had two weeks usually when I went, but they still flew by super fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Arlie? I would have told my mom to sign me up for the two-week section. <laughs> <laughs> I went, y'all had that, and then y'all didn't have it anymore. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Philip? Uh, for me, it would probably be uh, cherish the memories. Um, and then as you get older, take the responsibility that comes toward you. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much for jumping on. You definitely didn't have to do this. I know you guys feel too grown to come to camp, but still come visit us. We're still here all the time. <laughs> we have so much stuff. Y'all wouldn't believe, which... I guess, Laura Lee, you came for Christmas weekend a couple years ago, and Phillip's been here for some basketball camps. Um, but y'all wouldn't believe the way things look. It's so different, and so um, it's just so different. Everything's so. I don't. I don't think I've been Christmas, have I? No, we probably weren't having Christmas weekend. We were still doing the Disney trip. All right. Well, thank y'all so much. All right. Thanks. Y'all be safe. Thank y'all. Good to see you guys. Good to see everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.